So thank you again for joining us. We're going to go through some great solutions that D10 and Zoom Rooms have strategically built together to prepare you for hybrid work. Let's kick it off over here at the front door. What do you say? Let's do it. All awesome. Right. Well, hey, look, from the second we walk into the front doors over here, whether you're a visitor like Scott is today or a Zoomy like myself, the first thing we normally get over here is a live person. Now with kiosk, virtual kiosk, we have the capability over here of our receptionist covering multiple buildings and multiple floors. So this is really cool for them because we always had to go and send everybody up to uh, one of our upper floors at headquarters to get a check-in. Now we can be, they can be more places and they also can work remotely. So this has been a huge change for us. Let me go and show you how it works. So when I walk up to the virtual kiosk and I click on the receptionist button, that opens up a sub menu. Now here in the sub menu is completely customizable. Here I have six buttons, but it could be two or three. Um, anything you want. You can see here we have receptionist deliveries, catering, security. So if something goes wrong on this floor, I can quickly get a hold of our security team. Um, I have facilities as well and then IT support. Our IT support, they're building a really cool application because they're right, actually right above me on the third floor here at Zoom headquarters and they all work there. But there are times where maybe they're out to lunch or you know maybe they want to work remotely as well. I could walk up there, click on the IT support button, and I'll get to someone live. So I'll get help with my Mac or PC. I can also get it throughout the building, so I don't have to necessarily go to that floor. So you can see at the end of the day, this is a quick way to get to the personnel that I need, right? So it's fancy to have these buttons, but it's really efficient for me to be able to navigate and get to wherever I need to within the company here at Zoom using the kiosk mode. So a lot of different use cases. Let me show you what happens when I click on the reception button. So I'm going to click on the reception button. Hey Jeannie, we have the D10 webinar today. Mind if we bring him in for a tour? Absolutely, you're all set. Thank you so much. So you can see how easy it was for me to simply walk up to here and start collaborating like that with the virtual receptionist. Scott, you wanna add some more? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks Mark. So like you mentioned, what you see here is our D10 Me. Uh, it's perfectly suited for that virtual receptionist use case. So it's a 27 inch all in one with a touch screen. You have your camera, your microphone, your speakers. So it's really everything you need to approach a virtual receptionist to get support. We've seen customers, Mark, get really creative with this use case on who they're contacting, uh, how they're getting help. And uh, we've seen it in fashion and retail and business and a lot of really great applications. So one thing we're going to do uh, during this tour is allow you to actually try these devices for yourself. We have a really uh, strongly performing uh, demo program called Engage. Uh, Jackson will be dropping that link throughout the tour. So if virtual receptionist is a use case that you think you can deploy and be successful with, we're going to invite you to try it for yourself. We'll get that device on site along with Zoom Rooms and we'll get you dialed in uh, for your hybrid work and your return plans uh, all throughout the tour. So please click on that link, engage with us. We'd love to talk to you more about these solutions. Let's keep on moving, Mark. Yep. So. Another thing you saw on there, I had the, what's called a workspace reservation button. Now I could have showed you right there from the D10 Me. However, we want to show you an even better solution over here. So here we have um, a D10 on device and we started deploying these throughout the floors here at Zoom headquarters. So right when we walk into the office, I can see a live floor plan of what's happening here at headquarters. Now this is completely, um, you know, customizable. You just simply up, upload your uh, floor plan and uh, this is a live snapshot of all the rooms that are available and the ones that are actually being used. So I can see it's just red or green, super, super simple. So if I want to get, for example, this Yosemite room, I simply click on it. I can give it the amount of time I want, the time slot I want, click next, give it a meeting title, the time I want, passcode or not. So really simple to do this. What we want to show you today though is um, I'm going to actually reserve a hot desk, which is really cool because that's a slightly different process. So when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this phone over here. I'm gonna reserve it out for about an hour. I'm gonna open up my Zoom client. When I do that, you can see here, I get the QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna reserve this space over here. Now, when I click on reserve, you can see how easy it is to use. Just like that, it reserved it, put my avatar on there, off and running. Now, not only did I just reserve that spot, but it took on my persona. So when I go and check into this phone over here, automatically it's going to assign my phone number to the actual phone there. It's also going to put my calendar entries. So all my meetings that I have for the day are going to go there and then also my contacts. So, you know, not only are we reserving an actual space, but if there's a device there, it's actually taking on all of my variables. And that is made possible by simply taking the zoom client 
and using the QR reader to check in, that's where the magic really happens. Another thing you're seeing here is this right here with the magic and the collaboration between D10 and Zoom is this is an actual app running on the device itself. I only mention that because that's dramatically different than when you see there are other solutions that are on the market today. They're simply just web browsers, right? They use a touch device, but it's just a web browser. So it's really kind of clunky when you move it around. This is a lot like just taking a big giant iPhone and an app running on there, which is much different than getting a web interface and trying to manipulate that. So this is a, again, another true collaboration between us and, and the D10 team to, to bring this to, to market. And by the way, like this is right here, it has the camera microphone. So this could do double duty as virtual receptionist as well. Um, however, you can get these now with, a, as, with what's called the D10 on, as Scott's gonna explain right now, but super cool. And then Scott's also gonna check into a D10 device, so. Yeah, thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah. So the great advantage about the D10 on, once again, you'll see with the D10 products, it's all in one, your speakers, your microphone, everything you need to deploy all these really strong solutions and use cases. They're interoperable with other devices that are in the Zoom Rooms ecosystem, but D10 does have a true end-to-end -end solution for something like workspace reservations. So what we're gonna do is use our on here. It's the Android-based appliance for Zoom Rooms and we're gonna check in to a D10 Me Pro who's located on the other side of the building. And we're gonna check into that. We're gonna use that as our workspace for the day. So similar to what you saw Mark do, we're gonna choose this hot desk, this D10 Me. I'm gonna grab it for an hour and I'm gonna sign in also with my personal credentials so I can have that spot for as long as I need it. We're gonna open this, reserve that desk and you'll see that's now reserved for me so I can use that for my work day to stay productive and we'll see that D10 Me Pro later on in the tour. Awesome. So any questions, by the way, um, Jackson, that we might have in the chat channel that we can address before we proceed? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Mark, there's a great question about if a room is reserved using workplace reservation, will the status of the room show on any in-room controllers? Let's take a look at that. Very cool, actually. So over here, um, first of all, I can always go to Channel Islands because it's reserved and see which slots are available. So I can get a different uh, slot. Another thing that's really cool is we can say, you know, all day. So which rooms are available for the entire day? And it'll filter out like that, just like that on the fly. So a lot of options and we're just getting started. So for example, right here in this uh, you know, Yosemite, Today, we have a placeholder, it says available, but we're gonna get a lot of additional items over here. So we're gonna say, it's gonna say here, for example, it's a dual screen system, or it has video in there, or it doesn't. Um, it has, you know, X amount of participants that can go in there. So that, those details are gonna get into workplace reservation based on the feedback we're getting from customers. Another thing we're adding as well is AI intelligence here. What does that mean? That everybody uses that loosely nowadays, but really what it's doing is doing the math in the background. So if Scott and I are on a sales team together, and uh, the sales team generally sits on the second floor, it's gonna recommend that we get a room in the second floor or the third or wherever it is that we can meet in the middle. So if he's a, someone uh, from a completely different department, it'll kind of visualize where the, uh, the center spot is or, or one of the two floors where we work. So a lot of cool stuff that we're gonna be developing moving forward. This is only Rev 1 and we, it, you know, we've, our customers are telling us we've already caught up to what the market's doing and now we're gonna take it a level further. So really powerful. Um, also, this is something that it's a Zoom room license on the device in a workplace reservation, um, you know, licensing that we have as well. Um, or you can get that with Zoom One Enterprise Plus, which entitles you to unlimited Zoom rooms and workplace reservation. So a lot of cool things we could do here and you don't have to do any third party integrations. This is already in the Zoom portal. So you don't have to install anything. You just have to enable it which is really different. Our customers always tell us when we go do a third party integration, there's a lot of moving parts there. This is already in the Zoom portal. So go in there, enable it, and you're off and running. That's great. And, and if somebody reserves a room, are you able to see exactly who has that room booked and when? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can see the individual as well. By the way, that's optional because there's gonna be some cases where you, know, you wanna keep it anonymized. Um, so that's, uh, that depends on how you configure it. Sounds great. Let's take awesome. A look. Let's continue on. So the first stop we're gonna do over here is our large conference room. Let me go ahead and get situated. And you know, we're crashing somebody's party here. Sorry guys, but it looks like they're having a meeting. Um, unfortunately, they, they chose a room that we had already booked. 
So we're going to just kind of come in here and uh, they can continue doing what they're doing. Um, so right here what we have is our typical large conference room. And I'll just start by saying prior to the pandemic, it was a real complex setup. We called it a Pro AV setup. We had ceiling speakers, table microphones. You can see now where we've taken the table microphones off. So um, all we have now is two monitors over here, um, a, a bar, an appliance over here, and uh, four cables, that's it. So we have two HDMI power network, we're off and running. This is a Logi Rally bar. I only mention that on this D10 tour because that's the cool thing of the ecosystem from a Zoom perspective is we can mix and match. And think about this, D10 has made their companion whiteboard so it can work with a lot of different manufacturers. So it can work with Logi, it can work with Poly, all those out there. So, you know, we can enable this room for even more. So this is the setup that we had, um, you know, recently we did something called companion whiteboard. And this is really cool because there's no wires right here running to the back of the room where we have what's called a companion whiteboard, which you're going to see in a second. Um, that's how simple it is to set up. And I'll shoot it over now to Scott so we can tell you more about the companion whiteboard. Yep. So this is uh, the D10 onboard. It's purpose built and strategically designed with Zoom rooms to be that personal or uh, team collaboration device that's in the room. We know there's a lot of existing Zoom rooms out there uh, that are set up for AV, for your meetings, but you might be missing that touch environment. You might be missing that whiteboarding element. Uh, and we're bringing collaboration equity, not only to new rooms, but all existing rooms. So we purpose built this device uh, with all the components needed to really process and optimize the performance of the new Zoom advanced whiteboard. So all the features you get with that as far as uh, infinite canvas and sticky notes, being able to add detail uh, at a collaboration level that you haven't seen before uh, with the new advanced whiteboard. Not only that, it's shareable with the team. So what's really great about this product is you can idea aid on here, you can annotate, uh, you can share content to the screen. You're not using uh, your meeting screens where you see the gallery and the participants. You're actually loading the content and Zoom Room can control that behavior. So if you're sharing content or starting a whiteboard, it will happen on the D10 onboard. Purpose built as a companion device to attach to any existing room or you can put them in your design for net new spaces. And Scott, if you go and hit close over there on the board, this is really cool because um, we're now, if you look over here to my left, we're in a meeting. So the, the Zoom room right here, we started a local meeting over here. Um, there's no whiteboard session happening yet, but if, if we go back to Scott now, it's super simple, right? So it can't get any easier than this. We just simply have over there tap to, to whiteboard. So when Scott does this and hits continue, it gives you a couple options there, of course. and um, you know, it's going to go and open up. And the cool thing here is it automatically joins the meeting. So if you look back to the left and Scott starts annotating from back over here, um, it's really cool, right? Everybody that's in the space sees everything that's happening now. Um, and there's just a touch of a button. So if we really think, put that in perspective, in the past, there was a lot of third party software. You have to open up your laptop, start some sort of software. Um, now we have Scott over here um, at the back of the room collaborating. The individual in this space can either look at the front or the back to see the whiteboard. And then obviously everybody who's remote is gonna see this whiteboard happening as well. And then even better, anybody can collaborate that's in this room on their laptops or remotely. So we made this extremely powerful whiteboard solution where it can work, you know, whether you're at home, in the office, um, without using any third party, uh, you know, software applications. So very powerful what we've created here in this ecosystem. And again, super simple to set up as Scott was saying, no logical connections between that board. It's all done in the cloud. Once we pair that board to this room, you're off and running and, it, and you just have to tap to start. So super simple. Cool, let's continue on. Jackson, before we go, any, uh, any other um, questions, comment or feedback? Not yet. I think right now we've got a question about um, how a room when it's booked, like what it will actually look like on the controller itself. I think we'll see that in just a moment. Yeah. All right, we're gonna jump into our huddle space over here. Um, we define a huddle space here at Zoom as any space that has between two and four participants. Now, this right here, we made extremely simple setup. So over here, all we have is the D10 all in one, and this can be a D7 or an on. All you gotta do is mount it on the wall, even easier to set up in the large conference room we had uh, previously. Power network, you're off and running. Super simple to set up. Three use cases that we have in here. 
Normally, when we want to do a screen share, we have our HDMI, which you still have that capability to do. But what we've said is here at Zoom, let's get rid of these cables. Who needs them, right? Um, now, wireless screen sharing is something that was a nice to have prior to the pandemic. And now it's, we're, we're being told it is a must have. So there's an ultrasonic frequency that goes from this to my laptop. All I did was open up my Zoom app and hit share screen over here. Once I hit share screen, it automatically shares exactly what I have over here. Now, the cool thing here is just like that, you know, I'm able to come up here and start annotating, right? So I can annotate on top of content. I can see over here how you guys have um, your website laid out on D10. When I'm done, I simply click on send. I can send it via Zoom chat or email. So super simple to do that. And I'm off and running. So that's one use case that we have in this space. Another use case that we have is this is a big Zoom phone. So when I want to make a phone call over here, it's really easy. I just open up my dial pad and I'm off and running. So I dial that over here. Then I get my phone over here. And uh, just like that, I am off and running with the phone call. Hey everybody, how's it going? How's it going? Now, that could be a cell phone I called out to or an audio bridge, super simple. One of the best Zoom phone devices you're gonna use out there because it's got an embedded microphone array of 16 microphones. Very, very powerful. And then of course the speakers um, are booming out of the side over here. So really powerful. And then the last thing we have over here, right, is our whiteboard, which we showed you guys earlier. When I want to just simply walk in here, whether it's the new whiteboard or the old one, I'll show you classic over here as well. So I can simply open that up. And just like this over here, I'm off and running with a local um, you know, whiteboard session. So really powerful what I do over here. Um, and able to do that. And you can see over here that we have stuff like shape recognition, right? So I can make my imperfect circles look a little better and I can make my squares look a whole lot better as well. So really powerful. Scott, anything else you want to add over here? No, I think uh, you did, you know, you nailed some of the best use cases for the D7. So it is our flagship uh, Zoom Rooms for Touch device. It's Windows based. Uh, so it has uh, all the security and networking needs covered that you might have uh, concerns with in your deployment. But the D7, like you said, uh, ultra high quality 4K camera in here. It does support uh, EPTZ, right? Manual presets, smart gallery, all those amazing camera features for meeting equity uh, that you see in Zoom rooms. The D7 is gonna deliver that experience. 16 microphones up here it's a microphone array we're sending those channels into the zoom rooms dsp it's processing those it's giving you one of the best audio experiences uh, definitely for zoom rooms and it's an all-in-one device so 10 points of touch we have this in a 55 inch and it also comes in a 75 inch uh, display for a larger room but definitely one of the most powerful devices D10 uh, has available for Zoom Rooms. It's also in our Engage program. So if any of these use cases, you wanna check them out, deploy them for yourself, please check out that link, uh, d10.com engage. Let's get a D7 on site and get you started with Zoom Rooms. And you know what, Scott, let's take it for a test drive. Why not? I'm sure everybody wants to see how this, uh, you know, you're hearing us right now from an external camera. Let's jump in the call. We can either, by the way, your, your question earlier, Jackson, um, when we schedule it, it can't get any easier. You have this start button over here, right? So I can walk in and just click that and I'll join the meeting with you guys. Or we have voice commands as well. So multiple ways of joining. I can say over here, hello, Zoom. Join meeting. Do you want to join the meeting? Yes. Starting the meeting. Recording in progress. So now we're joining you from the D10 device itself. So how cool is this that, uh, you know, now myself and Scott are over here talking to you guys from the device itself, and you're hearing the rich sound of the, uh, the microphone array. And of course, you're seeing the camera over here as well. So really cool what we could do um, with that. Also, I'll mention over here um, that, you know, we're showing you just the camera view, but if I wanted to go in here and turn on um, Smart Gallery, I could do that on the fly. So how cool is this that when I turn on Smart Gallery, it's actually gonna look in the room, it's gonna find myself, and Scott, and then it'll crop us out. So very cool what I could do with uh, smart gallery capabilities as well over here with the, uh, with the D10 device. Okay. That's great. Hey, Mark, well, I've got you. Um, are you yep. able to reserve that room from uh, an email client with Outlook? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, we support uh, the three major calendars. Uh, Google Calendar, we support Office 365 and Exchange. So as long as you're using any one of those, uh, we create a resource and tie that back into this room and uh, you can uh, do calendaring invites from there. Super simple. And by the way, that's the true north. So everything we're showing you here today, um, 
ties back to our main calendar uh, here at, at Zoom. We use Google Calendar um, as our calendar over here, but you know everything we integrate, that's the true north is the actual calendar. We're not replacing the calendar. Workplace reservation ties into that. Room reservation ties into that. We're just becoming resources underneath that tree. Um, so you know, by no means whatsoever are we replacing uh, calendaring options over here. We just integrate. I think that answers some of the questions about you know that experience, right, with the uh, scheduling panels, right? And I think that's some of the questions. So that experience that you're used to, it doesn't change, right? It's reflected in workspace reservations. Uh, so you'll see one of the use cases in our engage program where we include our D10 mate, and that can be used both as your CRC on the table or as your scheduling display. So take a look at that. I think you'll be impressed with the full suite of solutions that we can bring to your deployment. Awesome. So we're going to continue on. Just want to mention that how cool is it that we're just walking through the office over here and we're jumping in and out of these meetings with these devices. Super simple to do. And by the way, this is this is all something we're doing on the fly, right? So we're, we didn't really script it. We wanted this to be a free flowing kind of uh, demonstration for you guys. Be right back. Yeah. All right. So. You know, earlier in the tour, we, um, we reserved a couple desks. So now we're arriving at those desks, and we want to show you what that, uh, what that looks like now that we're here. So what I'm going to do over here is uh, actually um, check out over here my Poly device. Uh, you can see on here where it's, uh, it's now reserved over here, but I need to check in. So what I'm going to do here is scan the QR code, um, and then just like that, I'll be able to walk into the desk. So um, again, so I start off over here. I'm going to go ahead and check in now. And what's happening in the background is now this device is taking on my persona, signing my phone number. And I could put a pin code on here, but I'm going to go ahead and set that up later. A uh, pin code is if I walk away and I want to lock device, I'll have a pin code cap capability. But you can see here now my calendar's there. My uh, actually even have a voicemail. Also have over here, um, you know, my contacts. So so I use the D10 device at the front of the tour, reserve this hot desk, which happens to be a Poly device. So how cool is that, that with the D10, I can, I can schedule out multiple devices. I, I don't have to be in a complete D10 ecosystem. I'm sorry, Scott, but I know you honestly use all D10, but the reality is we know that customers have a variety of devices out there. So that being said now, um, you know, if I get, for example, an incoming call, um, it would ring on this device over here and, uh, uh, and also on my phone. So you can see here, it's uh, starting to ring. And when I get that call over here, uh, I'm actually getting it in this call over here. Hey, so uh, sorry, I, I used the wrong phone for this, but uh, we'll get back to you. So very cool what I could do here. That was a poly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and check out myself. So when I check out and walk away, um, I now have opened that up and it's told the reservation system that it is now a free device and someone else could book it since I'm leaving early. But you know, Scott, you checked into um, this device over here, right? I did, yeah. So, you know, in, in a perfect world, right, we'd have end-to-end -end solutions, but we definitely want to support the Zoom phone product uh, and its customers and, and that interoperability between the D10 device uh, as you enter the lobby and being able to reserve those phone stations we think is super important. What you can do is uh, complete a com an end-to-end -end solution for your workspace reservations. So we're back to a D10 meme. This is the D10 Me Pro. It's the 27 inch, it's got the three cameras, your microphone array, everything you need to sit down at that desk and be productive for the day. You can even USB-C your laptop in if you need to bring in some spreadsheets, uh, work on some content on a larger s display, but everything in here with Zoom Rooms uh, is going to get you productive in both meetings and collaboration. So as you saw at the front, I did reserve this uh, D10 Me uh, as my workspace for the day. So just like I reserved it, I'm going to check in the same way with this super easy with your personal device. I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to open this in Zoom and it's going to ask me if I'd like to check in. I am going to do that. And now you see my personal persona is in this device for the day. So you're going to get your Zoom contacts, your Zoom meetings, everything that you need personally, set up a pin later. And now you see we're in that Zoom Rooms environment that you're used to. So we're going to start meetings. You can share content. You can whiteboard on this 27 inch device. It's yours for the day. And similar that uh, you saw Mark do with the phone, 
once you're done you can check out that releases it back into your device pool so someone else can reserve it uh, and, and be productive and, and that's really where you see that end-to-end -end solution from D10 with hot desking and that hybrid work deployment. Awesome. So you know we've taken you guys through a variety of different uh, setups over here and you know I, it's just so cool the magic yeah. that, that was created here right we have the zoom platform powered by these D10 devices now to make it seamless. And by the way, the, the users at the end of the day, they just want an easy system to use. Yeah. And um, everything you saw here today, when I walk into the office and I'm able to use a big D10 device to look for a room, I no longer have to just go jump in a room and squat in there and inevitably get kicked out in the middle of my meeting. I now can get something that I can reserve. I know it's gonna be mine for the next hour, two or three, mm -hmm. um, and then just jump in there and start using it. So that's the power of work place reservation systems that we've that we've done here at Zoom. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're just getting started with that. So a lot more to come. Um, and you know, you, you just saw us using also a variety of devices, which is another uh, cool thing here. So, you know, yeah. Scott, what do you? No, absolutely, that's great. You know, um, what, what we're doing with uh, workspace reservations, I think our customers are, are really catching on to how powerful it is, right? So you can get a single point uh, with the software, with the hardware, they're integrated, they're optimized to work together. Uh, and things like workspace reservations, they were released, right, last week. So yeah. these are public. Uh, the companion whiteboard for Android, it was released last week. So these are things you can do now. You can experience them now. You can upgrade uh, your devices to the latest Zoom rooms and have all this functionality that you're seeing. And it's not a thing of the future, yeah. right? We've, Absolutely. We have it now. It's available today. And that's why we're inviting you to check it out using that link with the Engage program. And you'll see workspace reservations, a D7, a Mi Pro. So we are encouraging you to, to check them out in your own environment. Uh, let's test these deployments and uh, maybe the phone room, right? Let's, yeah, let's pop in the there phone. real quick. And by the way, everything we showed you guys here today is available today, which yep. is a real cool thing. And it's not a complex installation because it's already in the portal. So everything you have in there in the portal, you have capabilities too. You're seeing our digital signage here as well. Digital signage mm -hmm. can tell me live also what's available, what's not as I walk through the office. This is not a live interactive map the way the other one was. However, um, I can see what's live and what's not. When I walk into the space, I can simply click on it. Digital signage goes away and uh, I can start a meeting right here on the fly. So I can simply click on a new meeting or call someone. Super simple, we call these phone booths. Give us a little more privacy than being out there in the open. And uh, when I start my call over here, very simple. And if I just wanna walk in here and start a whiteboard with you know myself or someone else, I can do that. When I'm done again, I can send that out to my chat or an email or you know join multiple participants. Super simple to come in here and start collaborating. Um, and this right here is a phone booth using the D10 Pro as well. Mm -hmm. Super simple setup, right? And we have a lot of Zoomies that come in here and take their meetings over here with hot desking or just simply walking in here and pairing to the device as well, which we didn't show you. But again, everything you're seeing here is available, like I mentioned. Simply go into your Zoom portal. You'll see the workplace reservation tab where you can just start configuring it and enabling it. So again, really different than other solutions out there where you need to bring them in and install them from scratch, and that can be a complicated process. This is right in your Zoom portal, so get started today. Any questions uh, um, out there, comments or feedback, Jackson, that, that uh, we can address as well? I know we showed yeah, you guys absolutely. a lot today. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a really great question about licensing. Do you wouldn't mind just kind of giving us the, the overview of how licensing works for a number of the spaces that we walk through today? Yeah, so um, you know the Zoom room itself, obviously, is a, it's, it's a license that you have. So a Zoom room license, um, you can work with your Zoom AE to, to get a package of Zoom Room licenses. Uh, that's gonna be each device that's gonna have one of those, like the, the uh, On and the D7 that were in the huddle space, that's a Zoom Room license. The actual workplace reservation, um, that has a licensing scheme as well, depending on how many um, you know, devices you're gonna roll out in the organization. By the way, workplace reservation, you don't have to have a D10 or a Zoom Room in general. You can just have that for a conference room that has nothing else in there other than a phone. Mm -hmm. um, that could be in workplace reservation as well. Um, but we do license in that, and it's a very competitive licensing scheme that we've developed here. Um, then we've looked at the market and made sure that it's gonna be something that's cost effective. Or if you have even better, a Zoom One Enterprise Plus license, which enables you to all you can eat uh, Zoom um, you know, schemes, then you, you could do that as well. Yeah. Great. And um, can workspace reservation be used um, for a more permanent floor plan solution 
as well as a hot desk and monitor, right? We saw some of the solutions we walked through today were medium-sized conference rooms, small huddle rooms. Also, we saw some hot desking solutions, right? How easy is it to just manage all those different kinds of spaces? Yeah, great question. So when we first did that, we you know we have this these cubicle environments as well. All of those are reservable. So what we've we've done in our hybrid workforce here at Zoom as we went back to the uh, the office here is we don't assign spaces to individuals anymore. So basically, they come in and they reserve a desk for the day, and then they can uh, they they can leave. It becomes a desk for someone else. So we did this, and we're hearing a lot of feedback from customers as well that are doing the same thing because they don't know what return to the office look looks like. And we're still kind of in a in a place here in the industry where um, not everyone's returned yet. So they're still figuring out what works, what doesn't. Another feature request that we got recently that we just implemented is um, QR codes. So these desks, obviously you might not have a D10 on there, um, which is a touch enabled device, but we could put a QR code on the desk itself so you can walk up to it and reserve it that way. So yet even another way to reserve more spaces. Um, so as we're getting the feedback, Zoom from day one has been really good about that, right? Is taking customer feedback and building it into the product. Uh, so with workplace reservation, no exceptions, we're getting a lot of feedback right now. By the way, workplace reservation is one of the fastest applications that we've rolled out. The amount of adoption we've gotten in such a little amount of time rivals all of the other um, enhancements we've added to the platform and then some, because this is something that is happening right now in real time. Absolutely. Customers are starting to go back, they're starting to plan. And when they know that they could just implement this, not have to go get a third party solution, it's super exciting. 100%. Great, we had one more question too about um, whiteboard, right? So if, if you have a hybrid team member and they're creating a whiteboard, can they do that from a Chrome OS and then share that with, you know, a whiteboard you might pull up on a D10 onboard? Yeah, so, you know, we have um, whiteboarding via a web browser. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, you're going to get a link and you can always join that way. So you don't have to even use a Zoom client. Obviously, it's optimal when you do use a Zoom client, but you can get to the whiteboard via, you know, a tablet, whether it's Android or iOS. You can get to it via your phone, a Zoom room, which, by the way, that's very different because there's another, there's other third party, um, very good whiteboarding tools out there in the market. But where they fall short is they usually don't go into the room. They, yeah. they, they just only go to the desktop and tablet devices. Um, we really bring it all together with you know, mobile devices, mm -hmm. um, your laptop, computers, and then obviously into the Zoom room itself. I think that's really where we have a differentiator between us and, and some of the other um, whiteboarding solutions in the market. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the, the power to be able to move that session around you know, we haven't had that advantage, right, up until this point. Yeah. So uh, you could email it out, but you couldn't recall it. You couldn't work on it, right? You couldn't add to that project. Yep. And I think that's really powerful, right? From a personal device uh, to something on your desk all the way up to a 75 inch, right, in a large right. room, you're recalling those whiteboards, you're sharing them with the team, and you're able to add to that. And it's really that collaboration equity I think that's driving the customer adoption. And now that you can add these boards to any existing room, you know, what a powerful situation for a Absolutely. company. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, our whiteboard we've developed for, for it to be easier to use, right? So we know the different use cases. It's just general purpose whiteboarding or the advanced power user who wants the additional power of uh, advanced yeah. whiteboarding features. Uh, we've taken cues from them as well. So we've done a really good balance on just making it easier to use um, with additional features for the power users. So it's, it's, it's somewhere, you know, Whiteboarding lives somewhere in between presentation, like PowerPoints and keynotes, and classic whiteboard. We have our new whiteboard, which kind of brings those two worlds together, yeah. and it's a very, very powerful um, application for, for, for those out there that want to use it. Absolutely. Um, another thing, as I mentioned, that whiteboarding lives on uh, multiple devices, workplace reservation, that as well, right? You can reserve right from the web page where you configure your Zoom meetings. There's now a workplace reservation tab and a, a whiteboard tab. So you have that in there. We're going to release in October timeframe an actual app for the phone as well. That will be a workplace reservation app mm -hmm. for your iPhone and Android device. So you can quickly reserve uh, something from there as well. That will be great. And <clears throat> when you walk into a resource to reserve the room, like the D7, for example, mm -hmm. just like we saw in the meet, right, where there's the QR code. Scott, you walk up to it with your phone and you scan the QR code. Mm -hmm. um, can you do the same thing with the D7? If you walk into a room and it's available, can you scan, is there a QR code you can scan on the D7 or you need to do that through the controller? How does that work? 
Well, so you want you want a device to be in that workspace reservation mode. So that's something you saw at the front uh, when we entered. We used the on uh, our Android appliance, but the D7 Windows, right? Both of those devices can be used to make the reservation. So uh, you know, you saw us uh, reserve a phone. You saw us reserve a personal device, a room device. So really, all of those are available. You're reserving that endpoint. And right, yeah. and, and D10 has those endpoints available from personal up to shared spaces. I think there was a little bit more to the question too, though, Jackson. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if I have a huddle space, for example, and I walk in there, um, yes, you can assign a QR code to that device. And what happens there is if I check in on the fly directly in the device itself, which is in Zoom room mode, then it takes on my persona as well, right? Assuming it's available, I walk in, click on the QR code, and then boom, that D. D7 uh, or that on become my device for that amount of time I get it for. Yeah. And that's really cool because, again, it gets my phone number, my calendar, and my mm -hmm. contacts. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Yeah, so easy to walk in and just scan that QR code available on the screen. Absolutely. By that's the nice. way, we, we hear a lot in the EDU space where, you know, you have shared classrooms. And so instructors mm -hmm. want to, you know, they're going from class to class, teaching different, uh, maybe different, you know, times of the day or, you know, teaching different class, uh, you know, levels. Well, they can go to um, one of the classrooms and check in right away, and boom, they have all their, their schedule for the day there. Yep. Um, so they don't have to open up their laptop and figure it out and then join the, the board itself. So that is a, a use case we're starting to see more and more out there in EDU because yep. um, instructors you know, in shared spaces can move around more freely. Mm -hmm. and, and so can the Zoom room. And yeah. I think that's an important thing. We've seen teachers, right, really use the D7 on a cart as that power tool. Uh, like you said, they're not in the same <coughs> room all day long, just like people aren't in the same conference room all Correct. day long. So what's great about the D10 devices, they connect to Wi-Fi, you literally plug them in. Uh, all this stuff is delivered through the cloud, and it really makes mobility and flexibility. We're really uh, knocking out that use case, right? And both with teachers and with companies on just how you can add this collaboration and, and increase this equity regardless of the space, if it's uh, predetermined or an open space that's shared. Yep. Again, yeah, super so exciting. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jackson. Well, I was going to say, so to clarify that, you know, workspace reservation function is a function of Zoom rooms, but it is natively available on D10 devices. Right? I just want to make, mm -hmm. make sure that's clear. Um, yep. And then just with when it comes to the new whiteboard, right, where you can create a whiteboard, you can um, save the session, you can recall it later. If I've got somebody at home, say a teacher who's creating whiteboards and then wants to recall that the following day in the room or in the classroom or training room, can they just pull up that saved whiteboard session? Absolutely. So that's yeah. another good uh, point, Jackson, is in the past, our classic whiteboard, you would save it as an image, and then that's mm -hmm. it. It doesn't come back to life. Yeah. Now, it's cool that you have that image of the whiteboard session you have, but if I want to open it up and change things around, I can no longer do that. The new whiteboard is a living whiteboard. It's a persistent whiteboard, also infinite whiteboard, meaning I can open up more space on that whiteboard. So yes, I can open it up on multiple devices. I can open it up later, continue right where I left off, and it's no longer a static image. It's a real living whiteboard. That's great. And if the room has, say, a, a Zoom room PC, it can also pull up that whiteboard. Is that correct? That's correct. Yep. yep. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. So very powerful what we showed you guys with advanced whiteboarding today and workspace reservation. Um, yeah. You know, this is exciting for me now when I walk into the office here at Zoom and I'm able to quickly see where I can go work and collaborate. Very different than pre-pandemic where we'd walk in here and, you know, I'd have to just kind of go up to the scheduling displays and find out what I can get, what I couldn't. Just took a longer process, right? Now it's a more smooth process to find somewhere to work here. Yeah, absolutely. Great. And, you know, just, just a reminder, we want you to try these devices out for yourself, especially in Zoom rooms for touch, right? Such absolutely. a different experience when you have the touch capabilities, when you have touch screen with the whiteboarding. Uh, so once again, right, Jackson's going to put the link in chat. It's d10.com engage. Work with D10 with Zoom Rooms. We're going to uh, help you figure out the solutions that you need to tackle hybrid work, answer all the questions, and, and get you dialed in uh, to return your employees to the office uh, or execute right the plans that you have for a hybrid strategy. Absolutely. So uh, we, we've done a lot to really optimize right these type of solutions for the customers, and we're excited for you to try them for yourself. Great. Well, thank you, everybody. We'll make this recording available to everybody who registered for the webinar. And it'll be available on our YouTube channel as well. Thank you again Thanks for joining everyone. us this morning and have a great day. Thanks a lot. Stuff, brother.